Hey everybody, welcome back. So, the Ravel 26T sedan right here. I got it all ready for paint now. Already mixed the paint. Uh, I'm using butternut yellow. It is uh, 6505E, butternut yellow, non-metallic paint. Um, wanted to go with something lighter. I don't know, I never, I, I said that last time, I never really, I actually painted my 48 Ford is something close to that and I got a couple of yellow cars and a few light color ones, but for the most part it's not light colors. But I thought this would look nice. Actually, I'm kind of stealing uh, my friend Brad. Uh, Brad takes, for the last two years, um, I forget Brad's last name, but anyway, he takes, he took a top 10 at Acme two years in a row, maybe more than that, but um he is a phenomenal painter, and he had a 32 Ford um, at the JaxCon show that he had painted. It was bright yellow and white, but I thought, man, that look, really looked good on that body style, so I figured I'd give it a shot. So, got my paint 50-50, uh, 50% paint, 50% uh, leveling thinner, uh, and I got, so I did 8 milliliters paint, 8, eight milliliters thinner, and then one and a half milliliter of I use the uh, clear hardener yes I know it's made for clear but it works really good in this enamel paint I've been doing it for quite some time now so that's the hardener that I use it's the hardener for my 2k clear as well so that's what I use so one and a half milliliters of that and then I give it a good stir and um, I always filter this chair I'm only always filter my paint I shoot at 20%, but always, I'll go ahead and do this. If I, my camera's kind of in the way. Here, let me move it over. I don't filter into the cup. I filter into the airbrush. So that's how I do that. This will probably be a short video. I think I'm just going to paint it on this video. Uh, usually to take two coats, I'm spraying over uh, gray primer, which probably I should have used white, but I didn't. So it'll. Um, usually I'll spray a, a lighter first coat. I still put my stuff on pretty heavy. But I'll do a, a lighter first coat, see how the color turns out, um, or the uh, finish turns out, and then I know how much more paint, or if it, the gray's still showing through, and stuff like that. But I'll filter my paint into my airbrush. Now this paint will go bad in a hurry. Um, if you put hardener in it, you ain't saving it. Um, it doesn't harden all the way up. This this hardener doesn't make the, the paint harden completely like in a bottle, but it just it's no good after I don't know, let's just say four or five hours. It's just no good. Because it kinda does something to it that paint doesn't like. But I like it before it hardens, so that's all that matters. Alright, so I got the body all ready to paint. Got the uh side panels this ain't gonna focus of course i've got the side panels in anyway right there uh, i am going to paint the inside of the body the same color as the outside i want the interior uh, at least the body inside to be that color and then i have my interior door panels and seats and all i think i'm going to go with this tamiya uh what is this uh wooden deck tan i think i'm going to go with tan on on my seats I've got a coat of black primer on the seats so if I spray a semi light coat whoa a semi light coat of that Tamiya paint on there should get a pretty good bleed through of the black and give it some shadowing effect but anyway all right so I am going to put on my mask and be inaudible so and the vacuum is so loud anyway so I'm going to um, Get this stuff ready, be right back.
Alrighty, so I guess did you maybe you noticed I cleaned my airbrush. So my process for cleaning the airbrush is very simple. Um, first, it gets a spraying out with carb choke cleaner. This is I used to gum out. It just works. So I just keep buying this stuff. Get on Amazon like in a six pack for about twenty five bucks. So uh, yeah, I use that first, and I clean all the residue out. And then after that, I put a full cup of lacquer thinner and I just use, I use the clean strip lacquer thinner, just whatever you get from your hardware store. That's what I use. That gallon will last forever. And uh, spray an entire cup of that while uh, it's spraying out. I steady move the needle in and out, in and out, in and out. So. I know some of you probably don't, won't appreciate this or won't like it, but I never take the needle out of my gun. I never break my gun down. Um, ever. I don't think I've ever taken the needle out of this gun. Although I've got the end off of it there. Um, I think I was adjusting it's the only reason. But yeah, I never... And I know that that might sound lazy or sloppy, but I, I, I clean it thoroughly. It, that I don't use acrylics. So I'm using enamel paints and lacquer paints and that carburetor cleaner and that lacquer thinner cleans it out and I mean that's it I, I, I promise I don't do anything else and I'm not saying that that's the way to do it that's just how I do it and I mean I know I'll probably have people saying that that I need to break it down but I just don't and, it, and I guess for at least over a year I've been using this Neo Eco brush here that uh neo eco sent me i just it just works so i'm not like just advertising for the gun although it's a cool gun i don't even know which one this is but um it's a good gun shoots well but that's that's my cleaning process i just spray it out really good with the carburetor cleaner because that stuff's really aggressive now let me mention some people and i've tried it i tried it before because brake cleaner is cheaper than carb cleaner usually from what i've seen i tried car uh, brake cleaner it didn't it didn't cut my it didn't cut the i don't know there's something about the brake cleaner when i used it i know other people do use it but i couldn't get it to to break the 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 paint down like this so this is what i use um and that's it it's ready for the next paint job so when I spray anything, if I spray chrome paint or something, I do the same process. Every every paint, same process. It gets carburetor cleaner, then it gets a lacquer thinner that washes out the carburetor cleaner. And that's it. And it's, like I say, it's ready for the next one. Um, okay. With that said, I'm sure that will stir up some controversy, but it's just how I do it. I didn't say it was the right way. All right, so this is looking pretty good. So the I wanted the dash the same color as well. Um, let me see if I can tone this light down just a little bit. That didn't help a whole lot, but anyway, it looks pretty nice. It's going to need two coats. When you use a darker primer than the paint, obviously you're going to have bleed through, and I can see you can t mainly tell around like where the cow, the little deal that opens up, um, you can see a little gray there on the um, the dashboard here. Well, you can't tell it, but I can. I can see a little bit of gray bleed through on the edges and things like that. But that's to be, I, I knew that was going to happen. So I knew it was going to have to have two coats. But man, that turned out really nice. And I think the color is going to be going to be really good too. And then with the contrast of this light brown for the interior, I think that will look, uh, look quite nice. Now I have sprayed, I got this thing on tripod. And it probably won't work there. Let me put it here. It might be better. I've sprayed some of my well, my chrome parts. I went ahead and sprayed them. And I just went ahead and used the uh, uh, AK Super Chrome. I did paint the parts black, but they were just flat black. Uh, man, this, this stinks on this kit because the headlights are made into the... Made onto it. Come on, crazy camera. So they're chrome. I'll have to find some paint to try and emulate headlights. But anyway, this isn't the... It's kind of like sometimes good, sometimes bad. Um, the reason I went ahead and used the AK is because on all the rear suspension parts and the front suspension parts, that's what I'd used already. So I just decided to go ahead and stick with the same chrome. That looks pretty good. Um, 
you get a different look when it's the Alclads and uh, uh, Green Stuff World and things like that. You get a different look chrome. Um, this does not look the same as that kind of chrome. I prefer the others, but like I say, because I'd already painted those parts, I decided to go ahead and just use that. But I did a uh, print out. I'm using one of my shifters. I've just painted the, the shaft chrome. But um, while I've got that there, I guess I'll mention this. I wasn't going to. But I'll have on the website really soon this sh pack of shifters. Uh, each one of them is a different style. So how many is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And then a 17 s single like there's Hearst. Ones with holes in them. And then there's this deal right there. The one that's got the I don't know anything about shifters to be honest with you but I compiled all these different styles every one of them like I say is a different style so you get this you'll get this whole pack of shifters and uh, some have balls some have t-handles some have pistol grips some have uh, there's actually one that has Hurst on the side of it but it's so darn small you can't read it so I don't even know why they bother doing that stuff but anyway that and um, also well I'm mentioning this Sorry, commercial. I did put together a uh, one of the small block Fords. So I got that put together. So I'll be taking pictures of that. And it's got the T10. But I'll be taking pictures of that and having it on the website. I've already got the engine listed. Many people have bought them, but there's actually a built model of it. So anyway. All right. So other than that, I got to paint the seats. I got to paint the door panels. The roof turned out really nice. And I'm going to leave it absolutely alone. This is that uh, Mr. Hobby uh, Black Primer, and it's got the textured roof already. I was going to spray textured paint, but it turned out so nice that I'm just going to leave that alone. I'm going to also leave the sun visor um, black as well because it's also textured just like the uh, the roof. So that's that's done. Got the floorboards painted flat black. Uh, the chassis, where did I put it? I do have the chassis. I gotta move this stuff out of the way. It's gonna rob my focus. I have problems with my focus getting robbed for sure. But the chassis is, um, I'm, uh, I'll add another coat, but it's gonna be a uh, gloss, gloss black. And that's gonna look nice. But anyway, hadn't worked on it much, but I decided today after working on other stuff around the house that I'd come in here and it's a, uh, Saturday, Saturday night, I guess. What time is it right now? Saturday night, 8.51 p.m. Saturday night. So I'll, um, I'll hopefully get this thing wrapped up pretty quick. And uh, so with this paint that's left over, I, 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 mix, I, I mix extra paint. I don't ever under mix pa uh, paint. I try not to because I have before. And then it's a pain in the butt if you run out and you got to mix a little bit. So there is some waste. I ain't going to lie to you. Now half of that is a uh, half of that's uh, reducer or thinner, but yeah, you still could paint another probably body with that. But that paint will be no good. So warn you, if you add hardener, you're going to lose the paint that's left over because the next day it's not going to be any good. It won't solidify if you put it in a little jar. It won't solidify, but it just I've tried it. It never it like will never harden. So don't try to save it if you add hardener. You don't have to add hardener to the MCW paint. It's enamel paint. You can paint it just like that, but it does accelerate the drying. MCW does have um, hardener specifically for the enamel. Works great. I've just found that I get really good results with the hardener that I use for my 2K clear. So I kind of stick with what works, uh, even though that is formulated for it. I just, I didn't have it at the time. So I started using that and I, I, I was able to get it to work. And uh, yeah, anyway, so now I've got to find out, uh, I need a set of wheels for it because I'm not going to use the kit wheels. And yeah, there's the kit wheels there. I'm not going to use those. So I've, I'll have to start looking and uh, see what wheels I'm going to use for it. Um, I thought maybe Craigers, and I'm not a Crager guy. I've never found them to look very nice or I didn't like the style but I think maybe a nice set of Craigers on this would look good I'm not sure yet 
but I'll, I'll go through my what I what I've printed or maybe even look and see if there's something else I could print for but anyway with all that said oh yeah one other thing sorry squirrel I was thinking about maybe putting some decals now the decals I think are fine the papers yellow but it's got the little John little Johns but there is on the top it's a uh, Flanders what's it say Flanders Flanders I can't read it Cl Clary and Star Stark Trucking Company or something I don't know these are the two decals that came with it and I thought maybe that would look you know with the with the yellow paint that even the little Johns that that probably would look really nice so I might use a decal and put it right there on the window because it is a delivery um, version of this car so I might do that and you know what I just noticed this too this thing actually came with windows for those side holes oh well they're glued in there now I didn't even know that but I think I still would have done the delivery because it's got a door in the back and because it has that door in the back I mean if you had windows I guess you know you see I don't know, people working out of work vans it's got windows on the side and they got doors in the back but oh well we didn't why am I even talking about this? All right, guys, I'll wrap this up. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you guys. Uh, apologies for not having as much model building content. Um, I'm trying, really am. Uh, if I could fit maybe another extra 10 hours in a day, I could get a lot more done. But it's a full-time job. I have a family. Now I have a, another business on top of a full-time job that's almost a full-time job. And uh, hey, I put it on myself, and I appreciate you guys that are concerned. Say, hey, don't burn yourself out. I'm trying. I'm really, I really am. Ellie take, takes a lot of the uh, uh, load off by packing the orders and things like that. But anyway, all right. Protect stuff's back in stock too. By the way, if you guys have gone on and saw some of the Protect stuff, like the, the uh, uh, spark plug boots and all that, that stuff's back in stock. Came in today, so it's all listed on the website. Hopefully, I'll get this up. You'll be watching this hopefully on Sunday. Um, Easter. Happy Easter. And uh, yeah, we'll get going with it. Alright guys, thanks for watching. As always, uh, HobbyNutModels.com, where the MCW paint comes from, in my stash at least, uh, HobbyNutModels.com, uh, the Tamiya paint. Everything that I've got just about as far as supplies has come from HobbyNutModels.com. So you, go, you guys go over and check out Mark's inventory, grab yourself a model kit and the paint to go with it. And uh, support uh that business he has supported me greatly and i really appreciate mark also go check out my website mcvproducts.net you can pick yourself up some of those shifters i'll get them on very soon uh small block forward uh, other variations of that small block forward too by the way um supercharged two fours all different stuff i'm going to actually print the supercharged model <clears throat> for this one and then i'll have it offered on the website because i don't have it yet i've only got the carburetor one but that will be cool looking uh supercharged um uh, ford small block in under the not under the hood because there ain't gonna be a hood by the way uh un, in the engine compartment of this 1926 ford t sedan delivery but anyway thanks to my patreon members we had a great time on our uh we always have a great time on our uh uh our uh, live streams gosh can't think and anyway have a good time guys thanks for all you do i appreciate it give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already and we'll see you soon all right you take care bye